Magsy, 2014, October. When the sun comes out, we're going to do some solar observations with the Dobson, and this is Kate. Going to bring in the periscope, also called the sun director. Okay, back my way. And just do the elevation. Awesome, thank you. Kate's going to demonstrate how we do a direct sun grounds core plate Dobson measurement. Is that right, Kate? Sure am. Kate's put on the sun director and she's putting in the focusing lens. Yep, thanks, Kate. And the grounds core plate. Now what we've got here is a brass flexible rod that Kate's putting up into the tube and it connects into the top of the sun director. So you can so she can move the um, the rod and it'll move the sun director and she's moving around to find the sun now. Okay, now, now what Kate's got to do is set up the Q levers and the R dot. I'm just adjusting the Q2 lever down to 75.9, which is what the computers told me based on the temperature. Okay, so Kate's actually doing a measurement now. She's moving the R dial manually and she's trying to position up the little. Over zero. So this is the. C measurement. Flick down the handles. Reset the sensitivity. Check that the sunlight's still on the Dobson. She's wiggling the R dial, which moves the wedge, which changes the intensity. Oh, and the other star. Roll, Mr. Computer. Doesn't have a patch on me. This is the Bob Evans, um, Robert Evans designed NOAA semi auto automatic Dobson processing. Okay, this is Fiona, she's the tech. Um, we're going to do a Dobson calibration and, we've, and she's going to take the front end of the Dobson off. Go, Fiona. So we need a lamp supply. I'll get a lamp for us to look at. So this is the lamp that goes in. This is Q1. So that just goes in the hat. 24 volts. Go Fiona. So you remember to prime it. It's glowing up. So you need to prime the power supply. Count to ten and release. Hey, let there be light. And there was. 